Good morning, my friend. I hope you're doing well. It is time for self-brain surgery tip number 23. Are you ready for this one? Self-brain surgery tip number 23. If you can't forgive yourself, then you're harder on yourself than God is. Isaiah 118 says it clearly. Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. God says it's settled. So why can't we? Here's the question. Why do we have guilt and shame and let those things filter and color how we feel about ourselves in the future when God has said he's already forgotten those things? Think about that for a second. Why don't you let something from the past change how you think God sees you now? Because he's already told you, I love you enough, friend, to come and die for you, even if you were the only one who needed it. I would still come. That's what he says. Though your sins are as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. David says, though they are removed, my sins are removed as far as the east is from the west. So, friend, the real question is, why can't you do some self-brain surgery and accept how God sees you? That would change your whole world. Self-brain surgery tip number 23. If you can't forgive yourself, then you're being harder on yourself than God is. Isaiah 118, come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. God says it's settled. So why can't we? I did a whole episode on this back in a couple of years ago called uh, Let's Settle This. And it's all about this idea, the, the scripture around how God sees you versus how we let the devil convince us to be ashamed and guilty. And some of us have things like survivor's guilt and different things that, that keep us that can keep us stuck, that can be incredible magnets to keep us stuck in shame and guilt and doubt and fear and then worrying about the past and all those things. And, and you don't have to because God says it's settled. Boom, it's done. I'm going to play this old episode just to let you fill out these thoughts for a few minutes. It's really short, maybe 15, 16 minutes. And then we're going to play Tommy Walker's song, Give Me Jesus. Because at the end of the day, that's what you need. Like All these other things that we strive for don't really give us the peace and happiness that we're looking for. You can't change your life until you change your mind. And you have to start today, right? And let's settle it. It's time to finally settle it. The thing that you've been carrying around, the extra weight, the, the, the guilt, the shame, the doubt, the fear, the worry... It's time to settle it. It's self-brain surgery. It's good neuroscience. It's consistent with scripture. And all we need to do is start today. Don't forget the prayer wall, wl1md.com slash prayer. And the newsletter, if you're not getting it, please, please, please sign up for the newsletter, wl1md.com slash newsletter. I'm going to play you the old episode, Let's Settle This, and then I'm going to give you Tommy Walker's from his new Generation Hymns 3 album, which is amazing, and you can get it anywhere. You can stream music. Um, give me Jesus. And just spend a few minutes worship pray think about this and settle it it's time to settle it friend and it's time to start today good morning my friend hope you're doing well it's a beautiful day out here in the sunny nebraska still pretty chilly but a gorgeous day and i'm back with you today for another episode of the wyoming tapes this will be wyoming tapes episode two which uh, aired back in 2018, and it is called It's Time to Settle This. This is a good talk about some things we need to get straight if we're going to learn how to be happy in our lives. This was uh, originally posted as YST065, It's Time to Settle This, but now it's Wyoming Tapes 2, these lost episodes I'm bringing back to you. Uh, it's been very helpful to me to just settle some things in my spirit that God makes clear to us if we take the time to read Scripture and understand some things he really wants us to know. So it's time to settle this, and it's time to start today. Hey, I'm so glad to have you listening this afternoon. It's a beautiful day in Nebraska on the river, and I am here with my incredible wife, Lisa Warren, who's coming back to the podcast soon, and the super pups, Harvey and Lewis. I'm a neurosurgeon and an author, and I'm here to help you harness neuroscience, the power of your brain, faith, the power of your spirit, and good old common sense to help you lead a healthier, better, happier life. Listen, friend, you can't change your life until you change your mind, and I'm here to help you learn the art of self-brain surgery to get that done. You can get the show notes and more on my website at wlwarnmd.com or wherever you listen to podcasts. My favorite is drleewarn.podbean.com. Check out Podbean. It's got great stuff and you have opportunity there to become a partner and patron of the show where you're going to get all kinds of extra stuff like transcripts and worksheets and extra episodes and all that kind of stuff. So wleewarnmd.com is the website. drleewarn.podbean.com is the best place to listen to podcasts. Imagine if you shared it with your friends how much farther across the world this positive message of life-changing self brain or you could go. I'm Dr. Lee Warren. I'm here to help you change your mind so you can change your life. And let's get after it. 
We have some things to straighten out, my friend. You know me. I'm all about helping you become healthier, feel better, and be happier. But I woke up this morning worried about you and your ability to do those things to improve your life. Remember, you can't change your life until you change your mind. And we need to get something cleared up. So today on the You Start Today podcast, we're going to get real, go deep, and settle this. Are you ready? I hope so, because it's time to start today. Welcome to You Start Today, the weekly podcast for real life change. If you're ready to become healthier, feel better, and be happier in your mind, body, spirit, work, and relationships, you've come to the right place. Keep coming back every week and every day. Start today. I'm Dr. Lee Warren, a real life brain surgeon slash writer, and I know that life is harder than brain surgery. I've been on the ropes, but I've learned the secrets of not just surviving the war of life, but how to thrive too. And you can, but you have to start today. And I know you can do it. It's not brain surgery. This is episode 65, Let's Settle This. You can get the show notes and more on my website at www.wleewarrenmd.com slash 065. Remember, you can't change your life until you change your mind. And sometimes you need a brain surgeon to help you do it. Let's go. This is Max Potato, author and pastor. You're listening to And You Start Today with my friend, Dr. Lee Warren. If you want to become healthier, feel better, and be happier, you start today. Like I said, I woke up this morning thinking about you, my friend. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey, how can you be thinking about me? You can't possibly know who's listening to this right now. Well, you're partly right. I can't possibly know the name of everyone who will download this episode or where or when they will listen to it. This episode will be downloaded in over 30 countries around the world using 30 or more applications in every state of the United States and in just about every hour of every day over the next who knows how long. So I concede that it will be impossible for me to know exactly when and where you will be listening to this. But like I said, I woke up today thinking about you. Now, on a personal level, I believe that God communicates to us in our spirits. Look, I'm a pretty conservative Christian, and I don't go around saying things like, hey, God told me to say this. Really, I believe that God mostly speaks to us through the written word, the Bible, and through the leading of the Holy Spirit. But I'm certain that he is asking me to speak this message to you, for you, today. But before we get into it, though, let me tell you what I hate about social media. My wife follows a lot of people on Instagram who do posts that start with a beautiful lady looking right into the camera and saying something like, Hey, guys. And one of my very favorite online personalities, a New York Times best-selling writer and personal development blogger who's really changed my life with his work, starts every one of his posts with, Hey, guys. On and on it goes. People sharing their posts with the, the address, it seems, to everyone in the world. It's easy to understand why. If you address a group, it implies that you know many people are listening to you. It makes it seem like you have a large following, and it makes you sound successful. But my problem with it is it's also very impersonal. You see, I don't want to write books for millions of people to read. I don't want to write blogs or newsletters for the whole world or record this podcast to be listened to all over the world. I just want to talk to you. That's why I started this. I just want to talk to you. Because you, my friend, are worth the whole world. How do I know that? Jesus said that heaven rejoices When one person finds rest in him, safety in him, salvation in him, when one person makes it through, that story's in Luke 15, by the way, you are worth the whole world to God, my friend, and you're that important to me, which is why I have to share this message with you. Now, one thing you might ask is why me, a brain surgeon, is always talking about spiritual things, and the answer is simple. I want you to become healthier, feel better, and be happier in your life. I want you to get your spirit settled because that's the most important question in your whole life. The single biggest thing you can do to achieve peace of mind and clarity of purpose in this world is getting that question settled. And you can check out episode 24, You Bet Your Life, of this podcast if you want the deep dive on why I'm a believer. 
So the rest of this episode assumes that you believe in God, okay? Now, if you're not sure, that's all right. I'm not telling you what to believe. And settling the issues we're about to discuss will be immensely valuable to your life, whether or not you're a believer in a creator or whatever. But if you want, you can email me, lee at drleewarren.com. That's D-R. L-E-E-W-A-R-R-E-N, Lee at DrLeeWarren.com. If you want to discuss your belief or my belief or have that kind of a discussion, I'll write you back, I promise. Okay, here we go. Like I said at the beginning, I woke up this morning thinking about you. It's a new year, and I want to make sure you aren't dragging trouble from last year into this one. I have a friend who struggles with letting go of yesterday. There's bad marriage in the past, an abusive person, a major loss. All of these things have combined to create a set of filters, a lens through which my friend views the world. There's a constant sense of dread, of guilt, of shame that makes every new relationship and encounter potentially hold some risk, some danger, or some sense that my friend doesn't deserve the potential good, the blessing, the love, the opportunity they're being offered. Why? Because of the past. Do you relate to my friend's problem? I do. Every day, I spend some time thinking about mistakes I've made in the past. I beat myself up, say negative things to myself, worry that I wasn't good enough, smart enough, wise enough, whatever enough, and that maybe those things had something to do with the various troubles I've had. Why wasn't I stronger? Why did God let those things happen? Why, 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 why? And when I let that happen, when I allow myself to dwell back there, A huge overlay of guilt, pain, negative thought, doubt, anger at God, etc. can start to slide over my mind and my heart. And it keeps me stuck, facing backwards. It limits my future opportunities, hurts my present relationships. And most importantly, it keeps me from starting today with the things I need to do to change my mind and change my life for the better. And I know that when you strip everything away... All of us are very similar. Me, my friend, and you all have some of the same tendencies, the same issues, and the same fears. So today, I woke up, and I was convinced that God was going to orchestrate this moment for you to be driving or working out or sitting at your desk and listening to this podcast, and you need to hear me say these words. Listen, yesterday is not today. You are not doomed to repeat the mistakes of the past. You're not evil, you're not guilty, and you have nothing to be ashamed of because no matter what the past looked like, you woke up today with a superpower you might not even know you possess, the power to change. You have a God who loves you, and he sent a message from thousands of years ago down through time to a left-handed brain surgeon from Oklahoma speaking to you from a microphone in Wyoming in the United States of America to your ears and your brain and your heart right now in this moment. Hey, my dad, when he wanted to get my attention when I was little, he used to say, look in my eyes, listen to my voice when I say this. And sometimes he would snap his fingers just to make sure I was listening. So my friend, hey, listen to me. Look in my eyes if you can. Pretend so anyway. Listen, hear the message from Isaiah one eighteen twenty and Psalm 103, 6 through 18. Listen to this. Come now. Let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. If you're willing and obedient, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. God makes everything come out right. He puts victims back on their feet. God is sheer mercy and grace. He's not easily angered. He's rich in love. He doesn't endlessly nag and scold nor hold grudges forever. He doesn't treat us as our sins deserve, nor pay us back in full for our wrongs. As high as heaven is over the earth, so strong is his love to those who fear him. And as far as sunrise is from sunset, as far as the east is from the west, he has separated us from our sins. God's love, though, is ever and always eternally present to all who fear him. Did you get that? God says it's time to quit looking back. It's time to stop dragging stuff from last year, last month, last week, and yesterday into today. It's time to change your mind, my friend. 
Brain science teaches us one thing with absolutely no doubt. How we feel changes everything about how our lives play out and how safe and secure we feel in our own skin as we try to navigate the present and the future. But the trick is, nothing in your past has the power to determine how you feel. You get to do that. But you have to learn one important fact, and that is your feelings are under your own control. You are not destined to feel bad unless you choose to. Hey, listen, look in my eyes. <laughs> listen, there are some things you can't change with just adjusting your thought life. So if you're struggling with severe depression, anxiety, mood disorders, st- st- stuff like that, go see a doctor, okay? Don't substitute my advice for that of your physician. I'm a great doctor, but I'm not your doctor for the purposes of this podcast, okay? But For most of us, the research is absolutely clear. How you feel is mostly determined by how you think. So if you choose to think about better things, you'll feel better. It's not a magic trick. It's science. It's because your mood is determined by the neurotransmitter balance in your brain. And thinking positive thoughts improves the levels of the good stuff like dopamine and serotonin and decreases the levels of the bad stuff. See, it's simple. It's not brain surgery, except that it sort of is. Because changing how you think changes how your brain works and thus changes how you feel. And changing how you feel changes how you act. And all of a sudden, things seem more hopeful. They seem more positive. The future seems brighter and the past seems farther away. And one of the most important things you can do to change how you think is to settle the fact that God loves you. He forgives you. That no matter what you've done or what's been done to you, you are not dirty or irreparably broken or stained or doomed to be alone or unlovable. Let's settle this, God says. You're white as snow. If you've asked him to make you so, how far is the east from the west? Well, that's how far your sins, your mistakes, your past troubles, your old way of life, your bad habits, your insurmountable problems can be if you'll buy into these three simple facts. You are greatly loved. You have hope. You have a future. It's not hard to believe if you try. It's not calculus or differential equations or a Fibonacci sequence or rocket science or dare I say it, it's not even brain surgery. You can settle on that today, my friend. But before you can change your life, you have to change your mind. You have to settle this question of the past being unable to affect your future anymore. This message isn't for millions of people. It's not for you guys and it's not for everyone. It's for you Right now, it's time to settle this. It's time to draw a line in the sand for this year, for this moment. It's time to start today. Hit it, Tommy. Hey, thanks for listening. I'm Dr. Lee Morgan, and my podcast is listener supported. You can check out patron.podbean.com slash Dr. Lee Warren, patron.podbean.com slash Dr. Lee Warren. If you want to get more, if you want to learn more about how to become a patron or a partner, you can get free books, transcripts, special patron only monthly episodes and more, and including the entire backlog of the You Start Today podcast that's only available for the $25 a month patrons of the podcast, patron.podbean.com slash Dr. Lee Warren. Patrons like you. You, allow us to stay ad free and keep growing. Please subscribe to the show so you automatically get every episode and go to my website, wleewarnmd.com slash prayer for the prayer wall slash support slash newsletter. All kinds of great things you can find on there. Hey, I'm Dr. Lee Warren and my podcast is about changing your mind so you can change your life because you can't get it done if you don't change your mind and help yourself get through life. Don't forget to come to the prayer wall for prayer. W1MD.com slash prayer. Please check it out. We need your help in the prayer community. The theme music for the show is Water Into Wine by Tommy Walker, graciously provided for free by Tommy and the good people who are changing the world one song at a time at Tommy Walker Ministries. Get the music for free and consider supporting Tommy's great work at TommyWalkerMinistries.org. I'm Dr. Lee Warren. I'll talk to you soon. You can't change your life until you change your mind, friend, and let's get after it today. God bless you. Have a great day. In the morning when I
Jesus 